a lot of people ask me after the games, why do you still keep going when you already reached all those goals? I always had a hard time answering those questions in interviews. Just because I won some competition doesn't mean that I'm going to stop snowboarding. I want to be known as a well-rounded snowboarder that's good in more aspects. Wow, erster street spot von der Saison. <lacht> Überhaupt mein erster street spot. Richtiger. Mein erster street spot mit Stiegen. Yeah. I feel like there's so much more to do for me. Ready? I just want to try to do it all. Anna will always try to improve herself, Oops. even if it's like a new trick for competition, or if it's backcountry or filming street drills. She just never stops setting new goals. Pizza. Yo. One of the most important things to be successful is to have the right people behind you. Get to Anna Holder, then it's people that you trust that that are good for you is like almost like as important as your own performance. Because you always have those moments where you, you doubt yourself or where something doesn't go the way and to know that people have your back is like, it's like a game changer. Ah! That was so shit! <laughs> Being a professional snowboarder, your snowboarding can be something and then your head game and all that's like 50% else and I think having a good crew around you is kind of, that's how your head game stays good I guess in a way. Sometimes we're our own worst enemies and we hold ourselves back just because of our mentality. So when you have someone you love and trust and they believe in you, it really enables us to like push our own limits. Whenever you feel great, you know, with the crew, and you have like the time you will be just shredding with your friends, that's when the magic happens. Crew is everything. If I, if I didn't have a good crew, I would never be a good snowboarder, I think. The video part is such an interesting phenomenon. It's something so hard to explain to the mainstream people who are interested in, in snowboarding these days. Oh, genau in der Line. 
it's just something tangible, you know, it's something you can go and you can go back and rewatch or people can see and it inspires them to go out and snowboard. And especially with the way a lot of contest riding these days, it's so hard to relate to. Like you see what guys and girls are doing in the contest, you're like, well, that was interesting, but I'm never gonna do that. Whereas with a video part, that element of inspiration is probably, well, I'd like to think that's why snowboarders are so hyped on it. Or maybe we're all just narcissists and we want to go back and watch ourselves a hundred times. <laughs> Filming and competitions in the same season, putting both together is really hard. If you want to compete and just compete, that's fine. If you want to film and just film, that's fine too. But if you want to film and compete at the same time... That takes a lot of energy and motivation, I think. Jonas, straight from the plane. Aber ein Jetlag geht's dabei gut. In der Früh habe ich mir gedacht, das ist vorbei. It's not like you know you have a break of competition for two weeks and you go there and you get the ride for two weeks. It's so much little things that have to come together to get one perfect shot. You have to have the perfect weather, you have to have the right snow. You have to build your own stuff, which takes a lot of time. You only have a couple hits in the jump because then the landing is bombed and you can't ride it anymore. You also need to land, you don't have a lot of tries. In the end, if you have two good jump shots in those two weeks, you already were successful. To be honest, it's so much work. And when you do go, for me at least, when I go filming and get to come to a contest, a lot of times I have a way bigger appreciation for the event. Sometimes it gets a, like, a little frustrating when you're like, trying to film stuff. And you're like, I'm just trying to snowboard. Ah, just want to snowboard. <laughs> you know, right? I know. You know, come on, bro. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Honestly, when I like drop into a backcountry jump, I also have the same feeling than when I drop into a competition. So that's pretty similar, like, I want to land. I think because you don't have that many tries, it matters more. You know, that's a humbling experience to want to like, step away from contests into the backcountry is not easy and it, is, it doesn't translate as easily as people might think. The whole crew I was doing this with, we're all pretty new to this, so we built some jumps that absolutely didn't work. I feel like me and Clemens and Adi, that's the crew I went out with the most we all were learning a lot. You know, I, I think there's very few riders that have that, that kind of really hard-headed determination. What is it? What is it? You have to be careful that it's not like you. Yeah, fix it. I have to do something else. Almost to the point where you're like, ah. You, you go do your thing, because like, I'm not on that level right now. I think a lot of great athletes, you know, we're never really satisfied. We'll do something and then we can 
see what we could do better. And I think that's what pushes her. Like she does one thing and then she's already looking forward to what else she's capable of. Over time, it always comes out, you know, who are the ones that are, you know, humble enough to fail and open to persevere through that and are willing to look foolish and learn through failure. You know, that, that really shows character. And those are the ones that end up on top. I covered the competition side a lot, but I still have fun doing it. That's why I'm not quite ready to move on. But there's still a lot to learn in backcountry and a lot to learn in other parts. It's not over yet. <laughs> so. Scratch all I said. If she could go and take what she's been doing on the contest scene and film the best video part ever. That would be, I would want that for her more than anything because I know, I think, you know, when she's old and, and chilling in her, in, in her, you know, with all her medals up on the wall and stuff, I genuinely think if someone asked her what would be your highlight, she would pull out the video part and say this, which is why that she's awesome. I can say something, but we're not going to use it, maybe. <laughs> I would like to add, uh, shut your computer down and go out and snowboard. See you later. <laughs>